In this interaction, we are going to discuss degrees of freedom for an object in plane. The outcomes of this interaction will help you understand and answer these questions. What are the degrees of freedom of free planar object? How a joint removes degree of freedom in a mechanism? How many degrees of freedom are removed by a grounded object? And in this interaction, the total number of slides, including this one, will be four. Any object while moving in a plane has three degrees of freedom. We will explain this by considering the shown screen as a whiteboard. So if we have a whiteboard and we are using this blue box as a duster or eraser and with the help of this eraser we can wipe the whiteboard and this eraser can move in three different types of motions. The first motion it can have is that it can translate along x-axis or horizontal axis. So this will be its first degree of freedom. It can also move along y-axis and this will be its second translation or second degree of freedom. So these are two degrees of freedom it has. The third axis is the z-axis, but we cannot move this duster in z-axis because, because if it moves in the z-axis, it will be detached from the whiteboard and it will not be able to wipe it or clean it. So this motion is not possible. While keeping this duster with the whiteboard, we can rotate this and this rotation will be about z-axis. So this duster can move in x-axis, in y-axis, and it can rotate about z-axis. So these are its first, second, and third degrees of freedom. Furthermore, we can remove these three degrees of freedom if we take a glue and attach this duster permanently with the whiteboard. In this way, it cannot move along x-axis, it cannot move along y-axis, and it also cannot rotate. So this means that we have grounded this duster with the whiteboard or we have made it ground as well. And in this way, all the degrees of freedom of this tester are removed and it has now zero degrees of freedom. So similarly, if we consider that we have another duster and it has the similar three degrees of freedom and now in this plane, we have two dusters or two bodies and collectively their degrees of freedoms are six. And if we try to attach them by drilling a hole in this blue one and we drill another hole in the orange duster and with the help of a pen, we try to connect them as a single body. So in this new formulation, these two dusters have been connected by a pen where pen is make is passing through these two holes and there is excess tolerance between the surfaces that they can move independent of this pin. So now if we see the motion of these two dusters together and we try to again translate them along x axis, we will see that their translation is allowed in a way that the x1 and x2 are combined together as x. So when we will move the orange duster, the blue duster will move as well. And in the y direction as well, when we will move the orange duster in the y, the blue will automatically move along with it. So in this way, we can say that independent translations x1 and x2 have been converted into single one degree of freedom 
so two degrees of freedom are now one degree of freedom similarly y1 and y2 have been combined together as a y another single degree of freedom what about the rotation as i told you earlier that this pin is allowing the movement independent movement of these two <clears throat> erasers so they can rotate independent of each other so when we will rotate blue one while holding the orange one we will see that this rotation is possible and similarly if we hold the blue one and ask the orange to push the orange to rotate it will rotate so it means that their rotations are independent so z1 and z2 are still independent but the translations has been combined together so it makes that this is one degree of freedom this is two degree of freedom and these are three and four degrees of freedom so we have four degrees of freedom instead of six so this pin joint has removed two degrees of freedom from the system and out of six the four degrees of freedom are remaining in other words we can say that this pin joint has removed two degrees of freedom or we can also say that this pin joint allows one degree of freedom so this pin joint has removed two degrees of freedom from the two bodies and it is allowing only one degree of freedom from this discussion we can see that number one a free moving object in a plane has three degrees of freedom that we saw that if this blue or orange when it was not connected it was able to translate and rotate about the z-axis so there were three degrees of freedom each for each object in a plane when it was not connected to each other and if we try to fix any single object it will make its degrees of freedom zero and it will call be called be it will be called as a ground so ground has zero degrees of freedom you know even in this uh, example if we remove this pin joint and we weld these two clusters together this will make a single object now and it will it will mean that the grounded object has removed three degrees of freedom or when we connect two uh, objects together it completely removes all degrees of freedom and there are two extremities here one is zero degree of freedom and one is three degrees of freedom and when we join two objects together in a plane that it can have some independent motions there are only two possibilities either one degree of freedom or two degree of freedom so the example we showed here was the pin joint which allows one degree of freedom and removes two degree of freedom we started our discussion with the point that in a plane there are total three degrees of freedom considering the same thing an object in a space will have total six degrees of freedom so the question of today's interaction is how many degrees of freedom are removed if an object in space is grounded 